Hello everyone, I'm Alex Bavalsik from HowToDoTech.com, and if your Finder looks a heck of a lot like this when you're dealing with files, you're in luck because Finder just got a lot easier in Mac OS X. So in this video, we're going to be doing a walkthrough of the new features found in the Finder for OS X Mavericks, and it's a lot easier to deal with files in Mavericks than it was before. So the first thing I want to talk about is tabs. Now tabs have just gotten so amazingly helpful and I can't live without them anymore. Uh, I didn't think they were going to be a big thing for me, but really they have turned into one. So all you have to do, if you have multiple windows open like I do right now, now this can be very annoying, trying to balance these on the screen and resize them so you can use the most amount of your screen at one time without having to cycle through your tabs like this and expose every time to get to the right one. So all you have to do is go to Window, and from here you can do Merge All Windows. It's just going to pick one to put them all in, and from here you could just make this one full screen, either by dragging it so you could still have like your dock and menu bar, or if you want, Finder is now a full screen application just by hitting the two arrows, because now that you have tabs, you can do full screen. So I'm going to go back right now, and I'd also like to point out that this tab bar is not always viewable. I like it, so I'm going to go to view, and I always have the uh, show tab bar. Um, I could hide it if I wasn't, um, if I had a single tab and not multiple, but I do like to keep the tab bar up specifically for the plus, and I can just do a new finder window as simple as hitting the plus. Something else I'd like to stress about tabs, you can have different views. So my desktop right now has an icon view. Um, my page Africa has the uh, column view. And then finally, my um, documents have a um, they have the cover flow view. So it's actually really simple to look at the different views within tabs. You can customize those however you want. You can cycle through tabs either by clicking on them or by hitting Control Tab and Control Shift Tab to go the other way. So it's really simple to do that. Tabs are really simple and they just increase your productivity. What's a little bit more complicated is tags with a G. Now tags show up right at the bottom. Now they're kind of where tags before they were called labels and they were just really not the greatest. Tags have really improved and I have two right now. So I can go to school and I see all my school tags right there. Making a new tag is as easy as just finding a document you want to tag. Maybe this is a six words document. I hit edit tags on it. And from here, I can just type in a new one for this document. Say I wanted to uh, call this one words. And uh, I'll just hit enter. Creates a new tag. Now, right now, words does not have any color. If I want to add color, I'll just right click on Maybe I want to make it red. And uh, now you'll see even the document itself has both red and yellow. Yellow for school, red for words. And I can see that it's in both school and words. So tags are really simple like that. It's real easy to organize something. You can even do this with folders. If you want to edit tags on a folder, it's actually really simple. You can just tap and select the folder and from here hit edit tags. That pops down once again and I could uh, say add words to this one as well. Now if you want to delete a tag, you could just right click on it and uh, you could either rename it or remove it. Um, I'm just going to remove from sidebar or you could delete the tag completely. So I'm just going to delete the tag right now, and it's gone. So tags are really simple, and it's great if you want to organize things without folders. Maybe you want it in multiple locations. Now, the big thing I'm going to say with tags, if you're going to do it, be dedicated with it. Don't just tag some things, and don't tag it badly. Make sure you tag as much as you want through that, because searching for things in tags, and you might have forgot to add one, can be really annoying. I've done it before, where I've been searching for school stuff, and it turns out I never gave it the school tag, and I was searching through this folder for quite a while for no apparent reason. So tags are really simple for organization. Tabs are really great for organization, and the full screen just helps take the clatter away from this. But other than that, it's the same finder you know and love, but um, I certainly have come to like it for what it really makes it unique. So I'm... So we hope you have enjoyed this tutorial from HowToDoTech.com. If you have any questions, please leave them down in a comment below, or you can email us at HowToDoTechYT at gmail.com. We are also on Facebook and Google+, Plus, so if you have any questions, you can always ask us there. And feel free to circle us or like the page. You can also click on our YouTube channel to look at more content we have created, or click on one of the icons right now on the screen to go to those playlists to see more tutorials. 
Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I am Alex Bavolsic, and I will see you next time.